The CIA seal is probably the most recognizable element of our organization. Shown in countless movies and television series, this emblem is a vital part of our organization. But how did we get to this iconic seal? President Truman signed the National Security Act of 1947, which established the Central Intelligence Agency. Two years later, Truman signed the CIA Act of 1949, which gave the agency the opportunity to create an official seal. So how was the seal selected? Believe it or not, it started with a contest. A notice was issued to all agency employees inviting them to submit suggestions for a suitable design for the seal. Originality and appropriateness rather than artistic talent were the criteria for judging. The initial contest yielded about 12 designs, but the judges deemed none of them to be acceptable. The CI Museum staff doesn't know what all the employee designs looked like, but this design here is a favorite of the employee submissions. After none of the original submissions were selected, CIA then turned to the U.S. Army Heraldic Branch, today's U.S. Army Institute of Heraldry. The Heraldic Branch presented CIA leadership with several designs that were very similar to the seal we have today, but in a variety of color palettes. The agency submitted the design to President Truman, who approved the seal on 17 February 1950, and he signed several copies. Each part of the CIA seal has meaning. The American Eagle is our national bird, but to the CIA it has even more meaning, as it represents alertness. Our mission is to stay vigilant, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and to keep an eye on things happening around the globe. The shield symbolizes defense and how the CIA is the nation's first line of defense from those who seek to harm us. Finally, the compass rose in the center of the shield signifies the convergence of intelligence into one central location. Walking across the CIA seal never gets old. It is a constant reminder that you are a part of an important mission here at CIA.